it's like a friendship to lovers to haters to lovers to haters again trope it is just everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my June wrap-up for 2022 I read a total of nine books this month so I will be splitting it up into two different parts this is part one where I will talk about the first five books that I read this month so without further ado let us get started the first book that I have is The Agathas by Liz Lawson and Kat Glasgow. I give this a 4 out of 5 stars. This book follows Alice Ogilvie, who used to be popular. That is before she was dumped by her boyfriend Steve, who started dating her best friend Brooke, and then disappeared for five days without a trace. When Alice returns, she refuses to talk to anybody about what happened to her, and then an unpopular girl named Iris is asked to tutor her. She agrees to the tutoring in the hopes of earning a few extra bucks in order to escape Castle Cove and the thing that is threatening her family. Then Brooke goes missing and a reward is offered in order to bring her home and so the two girls decide to work together to discover what really happened to her. This was a really fun and easy read. I loved the alternating point of views between Iris and Alice. I think it was a great way to tell the story and get inside both of the girls' heads. I think that it really helped the reader realize the different motivations that the girls had for the investigation and I really liked how different these two girls were but how close they became and how they really did start to value each other's friendships in the end. I was a big fan of the mixed media in this. I, for one, love when books include this. This one had a murder board, text messages, social media messages, transcripts, police interviews. I just think that it's a fun way to tell a murder mystery. I will say that my biggest disappointment and why I did end up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars instead of a 5 out of 5 is because I was able to call the murder very early on in the book which was a little bit of a disappointment but I did enjoy it nonetheless so like I said four out of five stars the next book I have I don't have too much to say because I only had to read it for work and I hated it it is leaders eat last by Simon Sinek I gave it a one out of five stars if you don't know I am an early child educator so we have to do something called professional learning in order to continue being registered for the College of ECs so I had to read this for my job. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was very, very boring. It's basically a book all about how to be a better leader, although I just found it to be very repetitive and I feel like I didn't really learn anything. So I give it a one out of five stars. Moving on. Next book I have is Places We've Never Been by Casey West. I gave this a 2.5 out of five stars. This book follows Nora and Skylar. They used to be best friends, basically inseparable, until Skylar moved away. So when both families decide to take a group RV trip, Nora is very excited to finally see her best friend again after four years apart. But when Skylar arrives, Nora finds that he is being very cold towards her and she's not really sure what's going on. And as the weeks go by, she spends more and more time trying to figure out why he is ignoring her. And she's also trying to figure out the secret that the adults seem to be hiding. I have to say that I have such a love-hate relationship with Casey West books because I always really want to love them because they're like the perfect summer reads but they always just rub me the wrong way and I feel like I should stop reading her because I always rate her a three or lower so like I clearly don't love her writing style but here we are again. I was not the biggest fan of Nora. I found her to be very whiny and I just found that pretty much all of the problems that she was having with Skylar would have been solved if they literally had one conversation with each other. This was another book that was just a huge miscommunication trope which I am not a fan of. I never enjoy books with that trope. I did like how we learned more about Skylar as the story progressed and we did come to realize why he was acting like such a brat but I still like I said just hate the miscommunication trope so did not enjoy this book. Paisley was my favorite character. She is Skylar's younger sister. I think that she was just such a nice comic relief and I love how dedicated she was to getting Skylar and Nora to talk to each other again. My favorite part of the book was definitely the road trip setting. I'm always a big fan of road trip books. I love seeing where the characters go and all the fun things they do on their trips. I do think that the ending was a bit rushed though and I do wish that there was a little bit more of a wrap-up of the story but overall like it was not my thing so I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I have is A Very Rossi Christmas. This is by Quinn Marlowe. 
This is a prequel to the Mafia Rogues series. I'm currently reading book one, which is a lot of fun, but this one I gave a three out of five stars. The series basically follows Sloane Brennan, who is the daughter of the Irish Mafia Don and the son of the rival clan named Joseph, and it's like their relationship that is like forbidden love and, you know, Mafia love story. Really fun having alternating point of views because we really got to get to know the two characters. The book was only like 80 pages, so it flew by very quickly but you could really feel the tension between these two characters. It's like a friendship to lovers to haters to lovers to haters again trope. It is just a wild roller coaster in only 80 pages, but I'm very intrigued to see where the first book goes because it's a couple months after the events in this prequel end, but like I said, it was a lot of fun. Three out of five stars. Definitely intrigued to pick up the next book, which I am like three chapters in already and enjoying it so we'll see where it goes from here and then the final book that i'm going to talk about for this part of the wrap up is queen of tiles this is by hannah alcalf and i gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars this follows najwa who after the death of her best friend trina is returning to the scrabble competition circuit najwa planned on using this time for healing but then trina's inactive instagram account starts posting again and the person who is posting these pictures on her account is claiming that her death may not have been an accident after all. So Najwa decides to uncover the cryptic meaning behind all of these messages and who killed Trina Lowe and it's like the story of that. I was initially intrigued by this Scrabble themed mystery. I thought it sounded right up my alley but I became bored very very quickly with this. I did think that the Scrabble competition in Malaysia was a really cool setting for the book and I did think that the diversity was really well done in this. And I did like how each chapter began with a Scrabble word and its definition that kind of summed up the entire vibes of the chapter. I also think that the depiction and exploration of grief and how different people deal with it in different ways was really well done, but like I said, I was just bored throughout this book and I also just felt that the characters were very wonderful dimensional and there wasn't really any growth at all throughout the story. I also think that the conclusion of the story was a bit of a letdown and very anticlimactic in my opinion so I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I was a little disappointed in this one. Alright everybody so those are the first five books that I read for the month of June. If you are interested in the next four books that I read I will leave the link to part two down below once it's uploaded and you guys can check those out as well. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!